to work on the Egyptian shimmy. The legs are very straight. You want to stand about a fist between your feet. Stomach is pulled in. Rib cage is lifted. Shoulders are relaxed. You're working from your quadricep muscles, so you're going to stand very tall and straight, bending and straightening the knees front and back, keeping that stomach really pulled in and standing very tall and straight. So it's a little bit different than the hip shimmy where you do bend your knees, you're in a soft plie working from your obliques. So finding the difference between this shimmy and the Egyptian shimmy in the front back. It's really important that you keep that stomach pulled in. It's important because it's going to protect your lower back and more importantly your knees. So pulling in and pushing front and back and front and back. A couple things you can do to practice the Egyptian shimmy is to keep the stomach pulled in and lean over into a flat back position and try that bending and straightening from the legs. This will help with isolating the legs and not moving the hips. If you're twisting side to side, you know you're using the wrong muscle group. Think about your quadriceps. Chest is lifted and pushing front and back with the legs. Another exercise you can use is lifting the toes up off the floor, really helping you to connect your heels into the earth. Stomach is pulled in and bend and straighten, bend and straighten. So in our practice, we're going to do an eight count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Shimmy, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.